While she's distracted looking for some stuff to buy, another woman approaches and hides a wallet inside her purse. The woman carrying a purse then asks the shopkeeper the price of the bags hanging on the wall. He informs her of the price, and then the other woman starts asking about the price of the other products. She asks the price of the teddy bear and decides to buy it. She pretends to search for the wallet that she just hid inside the woman's purse. She starts to overreact. She asks the other girl if she has seen her wallet. The girl says that she didn't see anything. The shopkeeper suggests looking under the counter because she must have dropped it. A man wearing a blue shirt approaches and says that he can't allow that to happen. The shopkeeper asks what he's on about. The man says that he saw the young woman pickpocketing. As things go according to her plan, the woman starts to accuse the girl. The girl denies the accusations, and the shopkeeper asks if she swears that she didn't pickpocket. The man wearing a blue polo shirt tells the girl that she must allow them to have a look at her purse if she claims to be innocent. The girl refuses, and the accusing woman approaches anyway and picks the wallet out of the girl's purse. The girl swears that she didn't steal the wallet and says that she doesn't know what's going on. The man accuses the girl of being a liar. The woman shows the wallet and says that it's full of money. The girl swears that she didn't try to steal from her. The scammer starts to overreact, and the shopkeeper asks her to calm down. The man intervenes and says that there's no waiting to remain calm in that kind of situation. He says that he must call the police to sort it out. The girl begs and offers the scammer some money to fix the situation. The woman grabs the money and says that she knew that she stole it. The scammer says that she's had enough and starts to leave. However, the shopkeeper tells her to wait a second. The woman asks him what he wants and says that she's in a hurry. The shopkeeper asks the girl why she's crying. The girl says that she was going to buy a present for her mother with that money, but now, even the medicine money is gone. The scammer gets angry and says that everyone has their needs, but stealing is never an option. The girl says that she didn't steal anything. The shopkeeper says that there's only one way to prove it. He asks the girl to hand him the teddy bear. The scammer asks what he's up to. The shopkeeper says that they have security cameras. The scammers say that she can't see any cameras. The shopkeeper informs me that the teddy bear has a hidden camera. The scammer argues that he can't record them without permission. The shopkeeper asks why they're so concerned if they are the victims. The scammer says that she knows, but he can't record his clients secretly. The man wearing a blue shirt says that he needs to go. After checking the footage, the shopkeeper tells the scammer that she should be ashamed of herself. The scammer starts to cry crocodile tears and says that she has a lot of bills to pay. The shopkeeper tells her to cut the crap and return the money to the girl. The scammer puts the money over the counter and leaves. The girl then asks the shopkeeper why he decided to check the CCTV footage. The shopkeeper reveals that they don't really have CCTV, but he's quite used to that kind of scam as the same thing happens very often. The girl thanks the shopkeeper for helping her. The shopkeeper says that there's no need to thank him and tells her to be careful because that city is full of scammers like that. The girl says that she learnt a valuable lesson. She says that she's going to buy her mother's medicine. The shopkeeper reminds her not to forget the present as well. The girl smiles, thanks him, and leaves.